so now we are going to renew the oil seal from the feed pump so for renewing the oil seal we have to remove the old oil seal so for removing the old oil seal use a flat uh, screwdriver so that uh, you can use a flat screwdriver to remove the uh, existing uh, old oil seal just all you need to do is uh, keep the pump upside down and you can uh, point your uh, screwdriver just keep over the lips uh, over the seal and ensure you are not damaging the surface of the seal just hit on side of it the seal will come out ensure you are not uh, damaging the surface of seal okay we are trying to hit and remove the seal the seal is uh, totally brittled so that is the reason it is not uh, coming so easier usually the seal if we try to hit in this way it will come so I turned it upside down so I am trying to remove it you can see the seal is already broken because uh, it's already brittle and it is damaged so that is the reason uh, we got uh, leakages from the shaft if the seal lost its property then you will start leaking of fuel oil through the shaft okay and uh, I'm trying to remove it it is still very hard to remove but it will come not a problem so while removing uh, all you need to make sure is you should not damage the seal surface area if you hit the surface area then you don't get uh, the proper sealing okay almost uh, we are done I put some WD-40 to ease up okay so I had removed the oil seal. Usually this uh, lip seal used to come very easily but uh, since it got damaged like uh, it got a brittle it got stuck with the seal. So we had broken to remove it. So this is the lip seal. So this is how we need to remove it from the pump casing. So the purpose of your lip seal is uh, uh, just when the pump is running it ensures the oil don't leak through the shaft. If the oil is leaking, that means your lip seal is gone. It is the time for changing your lip seal. Okay, this is oil seal actually. Okay, so this is the oil seal. Usually this oil seal comes very easily, but uh, this got so brittle, like it got jammed with the seal. So somehow we uh, managed to remove it. It got broken. The purpose of this oil seal is when the pump is running, it don't allow the oil to escape through the shaft. And if you find the oil is leaking out from the shaft, that means it is time for you to change the oil seal. Okay, this is how you need to remove it. I show you how to put here, install a new oil seal. So before installing a new oil seal, uh, ensure your oil seal surface is uh, properly clean and uh, it should be free of any kind of dirt or something use your mild emery just polish the oil seed surface area the area is clean and just uh, blow air on it this is a new oil seal so before uh, installing the new oil seal just check the condition of the oil seal just check the seat before installing the oil seat 
just to check the condition of the oil seal. The surface will be okay. So just apply a coat of uh, grease to the oil seal layer. Whenever you are uh, whenever you are getting whenever you are pressing the oil seal by using the hand, do not use a tetron rod so that uh, it won't damage your oil seal. Okay, that's all. Huh? This is how we need to fix your oil seal. It's on already? Yes. the seal is done, uh, we give a uh, washer on it and next we will go circlip, you can see the circlip slot over here right? so once you install the circlip, uh, just turn and see, it should turn by itself It is in the slot. This is how you check whether your uh, circuit gets seated in place or not.